Hello, artists. Uh, <clears throat> welcome back to the classroom, uh, virtual. Uh, I've been talking out an idea with you guys about hot air balloons. And you guys were showing me some really great patterns and shapes. Um, so now I kind of want to make sure that you guys are planning out a background for your, uh, your first project. Um, I think uh, some of you guys will probably have some great perspective where you're on the ground looking up at the uh, balloons. Uh, some of you might be where you're giving the perspective that you're in a balloon um, and you're looking at the landscape and there's some other hot air balloons or airships. Um, so it also, uh, I want to kind of break you guys out of the thought that it has to be a traditional hot air balloon. So if you're thinking about if you're thinking about how to draw a non-traditional balloon, I'm going to start out with that. But like I said, we kind of want a perspective. We want to have a background. So for now, I'm going to map out maybe a little bit of some peaks. Maybe there's a valley. All right. That's a little bit curved. And then I've got some more mountainous range. Okay. So that's kind of my, my where my horizon meets the sky. All right, inside I might have a little bit. More information, uh, maybe there's a couple of mountains uh, or hills uh, or objects kind of closer to us. All right, and then, you know, we obviously want to make our airship. So in this point, I'm kind of making it look like maybe we're on another floating airship. Uh, we're not looking directly up at the hot air balloon or airship, but I'm going to kind of take and I'm going to make a non-traditional one that maybe it looks a little cloud-like, but it's going to still have a little bit of an opening, okay, because you got to get your flame in there somehow, right? All right, so maybe I'm going to add a little bit more detail with some lines, kind of using some curved lines to make it look like it's curved. And you know, maybe there's a few more uh, brace type of uh, lines or, or pieces to help give it some stability. And maybe those get really curvy and thinner as they go further away from your eye. Oops, I reversed that one. All right, so the main idea is that you're starting to use some uh, background. And this week, I'm going to challenge you to come up with a balloon or an idea. Um, this one, I think I might end up doing a little bit more like a ship. Maybe it has a rounded appearance. Maybe there's more than one line there. You know, obviously we gotta have something that creates the fire. So maybe I'm gonna start interpreting that there. Adding some more curved lines to give it some depth. Maybe that's the captain's cabin. All right. So the idea is that you're creating uh, an idea of a hot air balloon or an airship. All right, so maybe this guy, he even has some portholes that you can see out of. Okay, and maybe over here in the distance, there's a similar hot air balloon kind of creating the illusion or the idea maybe there's a fleet of balloons uh, that are kind of traveling or exploring new areas that you wouldn't be able to get to without a balloon. Okay, maybe there's a couple of different changes like this one has, you know, some different shapes to it. Identifying that it's got some patterns with diamonds maybe as opposed to the curved lines over here. Oh, you can't even see it. All right, so creating it to where we are having some details that are similar 
but you're going to lose some of the uh, thicker lines as it gets further away. So I want to, I'm going to challenge you this week to play with some landscape. All right, color it. It'll show me that how you deal with maybe some clouds in the sky, or is it a perfect day and it's all blue? You know, show me how you're doing some value changes with the mountains. Maybe it looks like there's some snow or there's some darker uh, grays and lighter grays. You know, maybe you're working with colored pencil and you want it to look like maybe there's a lot of green that kind of goes down into a valley, uh, but there's lots of grays up into the mountains. Um, so really just play around with the idea, come up with an idea for your hot air balloon project. Um, make sure you're working on white paper if it's going to be your final copy and it's not just a sketch. Um, and then take your time and really color things in and give it some depth, maybe using some darker and lighter colors uh, to give it um, more contrast. Uh, as always, if you have some questions, uh, don't hesitate to email or comment on the thread. Uh, I'm going to try and interpret a sunrise here too with color probably. You know, maybe here I've got some water that I can do a reflection into and I'm going to start interpreting that. Maybe there's a little bit of a shoreline. Maybe there's a cabin. Okay, so what kind of details might you put together, you know, to help kind of identify what's going on, where are they at, you know, are there, uh, you know, people that live on the ground as opposed to live in the sky. Um, it's your world, you know, you're creating it. Show me how you do that. You know, right now I'm just giving you information with a pencil, uh, but I'll probably post some updates as I go of how I might color or uh, paint if you end up having uh, paint at home. So hopefully you guys show me that uh, soon, and uh, I'll enjoy seeing all your patterns and colors.